Hey guys, it's time to start language arts. Um, as I already showed you in the calendar video, you do need this packet for today because it's Monday. So we're going to be going over all of our words on here. And then you also need um, these pages, which were stapled behind your morning work. It's um, a brown paper that has our high frequency words on it and the new sound of the week. And then another one of these, the um, search for the sight word pages. So this is going to be your independent work today. Okay, so that will be the thing we do last, all right? But you should have it. Yours may not say picture up here. It might be a different word because remember there's lots of different uh, sight words. So it could be any one of the sight words. All right, so make sure you have all of those items ready to go. Um, and you can start it off by just taking this um, bookmark off and putting it wherever you want to keep it handy for when you need to study your spelling words, okay? All right, guys, let's get started. All right, guys, for Mindful Monday, we're going to go over a lot of the information on here, but I'm going to be using the big cards to show you some of these things, okay? We'll be going over the vocabulary words, which you have here with their definitions, okay? We'll be going over the high-frequency words, which I also call sight words, all right? And we'll be going over our spelling words, which are right here, and the new sound is the ah sound, all right? So those are the areas that we'll be looking at on here. So I'll remind you when I start each section that you can look at that paper or have that in front of you. Um, but I might be doing something different on the camera with the cards, okay? Now up here, I did wanna point out the big question. Who helps you, okay? Who helps you? Remember this whole entire unit, unit six, is all about helping each other, okay? So be thinking about the people in your life who help you out a lot. Okay, that'll be our big idea this week. And we'll be talking a lot about it and writing about it and different things like that. All right, so we're going to get started by going over our new vocabulary words. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, looking at our Mindful Monday paper, we're going to be going over the vocabulary. Our first vocabulary word is accept. Accept. Okay, say it with me. Accept. Um, if you accept something, you take it or you agree to it. If you accept something, you take it or you agree to it. Uh, for example, will you accept this gift? What are some things you do accept? Okay, do you accept help from your family? Do you accept food from your family? I hope so. <laughs> okay, so in this picture, the girl in the picture takes the gift from her dad. This shows that she, um, that she does accept the gift. She is smiling, okay? That also shows us that she accepted the gift, okay? So that is our first vocabulary word. Our second word is often. Please say it with me, often. If you do something often, you do it a lot. For example, we often go to the library or we did when we were at school. <laughs> Every week we'd go. What are some things you do often? And how often do you do them? This picture demonstrates one thing the children do often. The teacher takes her group to the library a lot so they can read all kinds of books. It's fun to the, go to the library often. Um, some other things you might be doing often now are watching videos by Mrs. McMahon, <laughs> um, brushing your teeth. I hope you're still doing that often. Brushing your hair and getting dressed. Those are all things that you do often or every day, okay? Great job, guys. We're gonna move on to the high frequency words now, okay? The high frequency words are the sight words and you can't always sound them out, okay? We sometimes just have to memorize these ones. The first one is, oh, and I'll show you really quick. They're right down here, okay? The first one is brother. Say it with me, brother. I like to read to my brother. The word brother is spelled B-R-O-T-H-E-R. -E okay, in the picture, the girl is reading a book to her brother. Awesome. The next one is father. Say it with me, father. Can you spell it with me now? You can look right at it, ready? F-A-T-H-E-R father. In the picture, the father is helping his son learn to swim. Excellent job, guys. Here we go. The next word is friend. Friend. 
The word friend is spelled, and spell it with me, F-R-I-E-N-D. Okay, the two boys in the picture look like they are good friends. Okay, the next sight word is love. Say it with me, love. Spell it with me, L-O-V-E. Okay, the people in the picture belong to the same family. They love each other. Are you guys see a theme yet? I've seen certain words that kind of go together. Hmm, let's see. Mother. <laughs> Mother. Spell it with me. M-O-T-H-E-R. The boy in the picture and his mother are talking. And our last uh, new sight word for this week is picture. Say it with me. Picture. Let's spell it. P I C T U R E. Picture. Let's look at the picture that shows a boy drawing a picture, <laughs> which would be this one. All right. Good job, you guys. Way to stay with me through our uh, word discussion. Okay. And the next thing we're going to move on to is our new spelling pattern. Right. That was kind of a weird transition. Sorry about that. We're going to get started on our new spelling um, pattern, our new phonics pattern. Um, we are going to be focusing on the ah sound. Make that sound with me. Ah. You kind of have to open your mouth and open your throat a little bit to kind of make a deeper, wider sound. Ah. Now, it is the A, the letter A, that often makes this sound, but it has to be combined with some other letters usually. Um, there's a few sight words where you might hear the ah sound um, when the A isn't with these letters. But it's, it's important to memorize these because the A does not say a ah or a ah in these words. The A helps make this new sound that you're learning to spell, which is ah. Okay, so you're going to see the A with the U, with the W, and once in a while uh, with the AL. Okay. So these all make the ah sound. This one right here on the bottom is only sometimes, only sometimes, okay? But these ones, ah, 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 <laughs> all right? Let's take a look at our new spelling words. The first one is haul, haul, not like a hallway, but like haul some things to the dump or haul it over to my house, like carrying big, heavy things. And you'll see the A-U there. The H, ah, o, hall. Okay, this one is k, ah, s, cause. You guys hear that? The A U says ah. Okay, cause. Now this one we know this word, but now you're learning the spelling pattern that goes with it. This is saw, saw. Like I saw him at the store. The A-W says ah. This one, cl, ah, claw. This one, p, ah, paw, like a dog has a paw. Okay, over here, dawn, dawn. A-W says ah. Okay. Then we have two review words, moon and soup. And then we have two sight words, love and friend. All right, I'm gonna read them one more time and I would like for you to read them back to me, please. I'll give you a, a moment after I say it for you to say it. Ready? Hall, cause, saw, Claw, paw, dawn. All right, and this here, this spelling and this spelling are the ones we're gonna focus on. This is the one, I show you this one because I want you to recognize it. You'll see it in words like this. Fall, 
and all, and all of the words that are in that family make the aw sound as well without the W or the U. Okay, so sometimes when you have just the A-L, it still says aw. All right, okay. We are gonna be moving on to our fluency next. So go ahead and grab that out. All right, as I said, we're gonna be doing fluency. So go ahead and get this paper out. Um, I wanna show you where I will be doing choral reading all the way to that point, which is right after the line that says 58. That's as far as I'm hoping that you'll be able to get in a minute by the end of the week. So practice hard. This is one of the most important parts is the reading practice, okay? So if you have to play this part of the video over and over again, go for it. It's a great, great practice. So we'll choral read right here, which means I'll read every sentence two times in a row. And on the second time, you should be reading along with me. And remember, we're not gonna feel weird about reading alone to a video, okay? Just practice. That's how you learn to read is with practice, okay? And then this part, I am just going to read to you so you can be familiar with it, but if you can get further than 58, keep going. Just keep going, all right? But for this, I'm going to read it to you so you can hear it, all right? And we'll do this every day this week, um, well, Monday through Thursday. We probably won't do it on Friday because we don't usually. All right, let's get started. My baseball coach. My baseball coach. My baseball coach is a big help. My baseball coach is a big help. He shows me new things all the time. He shows me new things all the time. He also teaches me to not be rude or naughty. He also teaches me not to not be rude or naughty. He is a super coach. He is a super coach. When I caught my first ball, my coach was so proud. When I caught my first ball, my coach was so proud. He even called my mother and father to tell them about what he saw. He even called my mother and father to tell them about what he saw. All right, guys, I hope you uh, noticed this exclamation mark. I should have given it more excitement. Hey, I didn't notice it till too late. So you can always practice that as well as you go, okay? All right, I'm gonna keep going and I'm not going to choral read anymore. His daughters play on our team too. One daughter can hit the ball hard. The other caught a pop-up ball to win our last game. My coach taught me how to pitch. I can pitch fast or slow. I love to launch the ball. When I pitch, I just try to picture a small spot. I don't always hit that spot. Oh well, I can just try more pitches another day. If I fall and get a bruise or a cut in the game, my coach will pause the game. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I fall and get a bruise or a cut in the game, my coach will pause the game to help me out. He helps me feel better. He helps me play the best ball I can. I love baseball. All right. Awesome job, guys. Remember, you can um, pause and go back and practice that again if you need to. All right, guys, I think that wraps up all of our new information for Mindful Mon Monday. I know that this was also attached to that little packet. This is actually for our guest reader on Friday. So you can go ahead and put that back in your blue folder for Friday um, and we'll get to it then, okay? Um, we're going to move on to the language arts portion of our day, which is going to be just going over um, this brown worksheet together. Uh, and then you can go on to the email and do the other items that are listed there um, on your own. Okay, after, after this one too. Okay, guys, let's get started on that worksheet. All right, guys, so this is just kind of going over what we just talked about with our new spelling words. Okay. So on this, you can see in the directions that it kind of explains it again. Let's look. Say paw. The same vowel sound can be spelled with a as in mall, aw as in fault, aw as in taught, and all as in talk. Ooh, look at that. They show us again another way to use the al, and I didn't show you this one earlier. I'm gonna add it to our list right now because it's important that we remember and pay attention to all the different ways that you can make these sounds. A-U-G-G. 
H. Okay. Now we have to be careful with this one because this one um, is the same spelling that you see in the word laugh, uh, and it doesn't say all on that one. So that this is again just a sometimes one, a sometimes one. Okay. All right. Here we go. The directions say. Write the words from the box that have the same sound spelling as the name of the picture. Write the ones that have the same sound spelling as the word in the picture. So you're not going to find this word in this box, but you're going to find words that have the same sound spelling. Okay, so here we go. This is the word crawl. Crawl. And the aw sound is made with the A-W. Let's look in the box for words that have the A-W sound spelling. Stock, no. Taught, no. Fall, no. Hall, no. Claw, yes. That's one of them. We'll circle that and write it here. Okay. Then we'll go on because look, there's room for two words. Okay. Small, no. Chalk, no. Cause, no. Paw, yes. Okay, now I can cross them both off and move on to number two. Do you guys see the uh, pattern here? I'll do this one and then you can pause and finish it up and check your answers, okay? Call. Which other words have the same sound spelling? It is the A-L. Now in this case, it's actually the A-L-L, -L, two L's, okay? And that's important for this worksheet because there's another one that has the A-L, but not the A-L-L, -L. okay? So which other ones end in A-L-L? -L? I see one right in the beginning here, small. And... There it is, fall. And then we cross them off. Okay, do you see that? So this one's gonna be looking for what sound spelling? For sus, s, os, s, os, okay? What other words have that A-U sound spelling? Stock, taught, hall, chalk, cause, naughty. Hmm. Now again, okay, I know I said I was going to let you go on ahead, but I think I'm going to actually do these ones with you because I look at this. This is tricky. S, a, s, okay? A, U. But then look down here. K, a, t. This has that A, U, G, H. Don't get confused. You don't want to put an A, U, G, H on this line. This line wants you to just find the ones that have A, U with no G, H. So for example, cause. Okay, and haul. Now I bet you guys can finish this. Go ahead and finish it. Pause while I write the answers down and then you finish it and check and see if you can get the rest of these correct. All right, you should have put tot and naughty on number four, chalk and stock on number five. Okay, double check those, see if you got them all correct, and just make sure you're paying attention. The whole point of this worksheet is to really practice these spelling patterns, okay? Awesome job. Go ahead and turn the paper over. This side is a fill in the blank with your new sight words. All right. The instructions say complete each sentence. Use one of the words in the box. Okay, here we go. Um, repeat the words after me. Brother. Father. Friend. Love. 
mother picture okay all right number one my blank Liz goes to my school my blank Liz goes to my school would it be brother probably not Liz is usually a girl's name father no friend hmm, that one seems to fit let's put it in F R I E N D friend okay all right number two I blank to run around the park I blank to run around the park I brother to run around the park I father to run around the park I love to run around the park Ooh, that one makes the most sense okay I forgot to circle first last time circle it so you know exactly what you're writing write it and cross it off number three I smiled for my class blank picture P I C T U R E picture number four my blank and blank tell me to go to bed my blank and blank tell me to go to bed Ooh, two sight words in one sentence mother and father which means that brother should fit here. Let's check. Paul's brother is the same age as I am. Paul's brother is the same age as I am. It makes sense. Excellent work, you guys. We have one part left. Write your own sentence using a word from the box. Now, considering that we have the word love in this box, it should be pretty simple. You could tell me something you love pretty easily, but I'm gonna challenge you because we have so many family words in this box to use two in one sentence, just like number four did. Can you use two words in this sentence? Okay, I'm not gonna do one because I want you to do your own today. So go ahead and use two of the sight words and write your own sentence. Awesome job, guys. All right, don't forget, you could pause the video if you needed to to finish writing that sentence. Um, but if you're ready, we're gonna move on to independent work. All right, before you go back to the email and check um, about the stories you need to read and whatnot, I want you to go ahead and work on this. And again, you probably don't have the daubers at home, so you can just use a marker, and you're gonna color in all of the circles that match the word that's in your corner. So if your word is picture, then you color in all the words that say picture. But if your word is, well, I can't actually see our other sight words on this one, So, but yours might say mother or father or love or any of our other sight words, you would color in all of those. Whatever word is up here in the corner of your paper is the one that you're going to color in, okay? Go ahead and get busy on that and then move on to the next part of the email. Awesome job in language arts today, guys.